Good morning and welcome to your 2017 Spring Practical Exam. This exam is worth 35% of your semester grade. This first video is designed to present to you the materials that you will be using. First, we're going to start with the solutions. The first solution is 0.25 molars of sulfuric acid. This is barium hydroxide. And the last solution is potassium hydroxide. Alongside, you will also have indicators. You will have one pipette of universal indicator, which is going to be this one. And then you will also have a pipette of phenophthalene. The other thing you will have is the Flynn pH skill chart. Then we go on to the rest of our materials, which are going to be a 10 milliliter pipette with a pump. You will also have three conical flasks. Inside one of these flasks is a magnet, which you will need for the apparatus. This is a burette with 0.25 uh, sulfuric acid. Inside this magnet will go here, and then you will also have a steerer to be able to control on your burette. And that pretty much concludes the materials video for your 2017 spring practical exam. Okay, so this is part one of the practical exam, and this is going to be the titration of sulfuric acid, acid and barium hydroxide. Inside of this burette, you will already have 50 milliliters of sulfuric acid. Then you're going to take the pipette with the pump and go into the bottle and take 10 milliliters of barium hydroxide like this. And you're going to make sure to do this motion right here. Once you have your 10 milliliters of barium hydroxide, you're going to go into the conical flask and deliver them in here. Once you're done delivering the actual barium hydroxide, you're going to take the pump away, take the distilled water, and you're going to go back in here and rinse out the inside of the pipette as well as the outside of the pipette. Once you're done with that, you're going to take the universal indicator and add two drops of that to your conical flask. Then you're going to use the pH chart given to you to record the initial pH as well as the initial color of the solution. Once you've recorded that, you can deliver one milliliter of sulfuric acid and what you want to do is look at the pipette while you're doing so to make sure that it goes from zero to one um, and the opening motion is simply just this. Once you deliver one milliliter, you're going to go back and um, record the pH as well as the color. You're going to repeat those last two steps until you've added 10 milliliters of sulfuric acid into the barium hydroxide. And that is the first part of your practical exam. Cool. This is calculations for part one. You're going to be, you're going to have to label your title, which is your chemical reaction. Then you're going to have to label the, the y and x axis. Then from there you'll plot your points and you should get a similar graph like this. And you would have to find the midpoints between x1, y1, and x2, y2, and to get the midpoint you'll use this formula, and then from there you would have to find the molarity of the base, and to find the molarity of the base you'll divide in, I mean, the volume of the base over here. Oh no, I didn't like that part. Welcome to part two of your practical exam. This is another titration of sulfuric acid and barium hydroxide, but with a different indicator. So you should already have 50 milliliters of sulfuric acid inside of the burette. The next part is to take 10 milliliters of the barium hydroxide from the bottle. You're going to deliver these into the conical flask. Then you're going to take two drops of phenolphthalein into the um, conical flask. Once you're done with that, you're going to take the distilled water and use it to cover the surface of the magnet. Once you've done that, you're going to record the initial volume, which is VI. You're going to go ahead and open the valve and allow the sulfuric acid to flow until you see a color change in the solution. Once that's done, quickly turn it off and then record the, vi the final volume, which is VF. Once you're done with that, you're going to calculate the total volume, which is going to be VT. And that concludes the second part of your practical exam. This is part two of your calculations. You'll start off with your balancing equation. From there, you'll find your total volume, which will subtract the initial volume minus the final volume. Since you know the molarity of the acid, 
you need to find the moles of the acid. In order to find that, you'll first convert it to this, to this equation, and then from there, since it's in milliliters, you need to use this conversion factor. Then you'll have to find the mole ratio between H2SO4 and BaOH2. And the final step will, find, will be finding the molarity of the base, which you'll divide, which you'll use moles, BaOT divided by L. And to find the molarity of the base, you'll have to use this conversion factor again. That's key because your experiment is in milliliters. And to find the molarity of the base, you'll use this equation once again to find it. All right, welcome to the third and last part of your practical exam. This is going to be a titration of sulfuric acid against potassium hydroxide. You're again going to have 50 milliliters of potassium hydroxide inside of the burette. Next, you're going to take 10 milliliters of the um, potassium hydroxide and you're going to take those with the burette doing the same motion as the first part of the practical exam. You're going to go ahead and deliver these into the uh, conical flask. Then, you're going to add two drops of phenophthalane into the conical flask as well. The next part is to cover the magnet entirely with distilled water. Once that's ready, you're going to go ahead and record the uh, initial volume, which is going to be the I. Then you're going to open the valve and allow the sulfuric acid to flow until you see a change of color. Once that happens, you quickly turn it off, and then you're going to go ahead and record the final volume, Once you have, which is going to be VF. When you have VI and VF, you calculate the total volume, and that is the last part of your practical exam. Done. This part of your calculations. You'll start off with a balanced equation, then you'll find your total volume, and then you'll find your moles of the acid, which is molarity of the acid times milliliters times one liter divided by a thousand milliliters. You use this conversion factor because you're you're in milliliters and you need to convert to liters. Then you'll find the mole to mole ratio between H2SO4 and KOH. From there you'll find the molarity of the base, which is this equation times a, this conversion factor, and then that's how you find your molarity of your base. So, you're going to check your materials that you have your solutions, you have 0.25 molar sulfuric acid, the potassium hydroxide, and the barium hydroxide. Then you check your apparatus that you have a burette with 50 milliliters of sulfuric acid, and a 10 milliliter pipette and a pump three conical flasks, and a stirrer and a magnet. After you check that you have all your materials, you're going to start your first titration with, with um, 0.25 molar sulfuric acid and barium hydroxide with the universal indicator. Once you finish this titration, you start to plot your graph, and then you move on to your second titration, where you have your Sulfuric acid, your barium hydroxide, and phenophthalene, and then you start your calculations. Now you're going to start your third titration with 0.25 molar of sulfuric acid and potassium hydroxide with phenophthalene. And once you're done with this titration, you're going to start doing the calculations.